next session of ANSYS Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are solving for linear buckling analysis of an I-beam. We will start by double clicking on static structural. Now I am going to leave the material of I-beam as the default material of ANSYS that is structural steel. So I'm not going to engineering data. I'll directly go to geometry, right click, new design modular geometry. Units, millimeter, XY, look at. Now for sketching an I-beam, I'm going to use two rectangles. This is one. And this is the second one. I'll use modify trim. Now I'll go to constraints and use symmetry. These two lines are going to be symmetrical. I'll use symmetry again for these two lines. I'll go to dimensions and give some dimensions here. Say this is 85. V1 is 15. V3 is 50. And H2 is 30. Now I'll go to extrude, the sketch is selected, I'll go for depth, I'll give the depth as 10 mm, generate. Now I want to create the same body on the lower portion because it is not a T section, I am solving for an I section. If you have to use a T section, this is what you are going to solve for. Now since I am using an I section, I am going to use this option. Create body transformation mirror. Now this is asking for bodies. So I'm going to select the entire body. Apply. It is asking for the mirror plane. So here at the left hand corner. I'm going to choose the X plane. Or the XZ plane as you call it. Which is the plane below. Apply. And I'll click on generate. So this becomes my entire IP. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll first go to mesh, sizing, I'll change it to fine, update. Next, I'll go to analysis settings and insert fix support. That is the lowermost portion. Apply. At the top portion, I am going to insert force. I will change vector to component. Let me give the force as minus 1000 Newton. I will go to solution and insert deformation total. Also, I will insert stress equivalent. I will solve. You can see here, this is the deformation over the body. And if I check for the stress, the value is 25.35 megapascal. So this completes the static structural part. Now next we are going to go for applying eigenvalue buckling. And I am going to drag it up to the solution part. Next I will click on setup. You can see here this much portion is completed. I will go to eigenvalue buckling, analysis settings. I want to see three modes of buckling of the beam. Next, I will go to solution and insert deformation total. This is for the first mode. I will insert deformation total 
change the mode to 2 and again I will insert another deformation total change the deformation to mode 3 I go to analysis settings and I'm going to just change this include negative load multiplier to no now I'll solve it so this is the first deformation over the body Next, you will see the deformation 2. You can see here the load multiplier is 420.6. Load multiplier means you have applied a load of 1000 Newton. So, you will multiply 1000 with this 420.6. And whatever value you get, that is 420.6 into 10 raised to 3 Newton, is going to be the load in which you will see the buckling of this sort. And this is the third deformation, you can see here, the load multiplier for this is 566.2. So just multiply with the load value that you have applied and you get the load applying which you are going to get this sort of buckling over the I-beam. So with this I end the session, I hope you have understood how to solve and analyze I-beam for its buckling. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.